channel <laughs> welcome to this video in as you welcome to this video in um, uh, this is the lecture number 98 already 97 lectures are covered to solve the supplementary problem of this book that is the vector entry by ms final you know this is very important for physics as well as for mathematics also and also important for id jam preparation that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem 8.122 to 8.129 of chapter 8 with consistence of analysis right you know this is uh, very well that is if you was the previous lecture if you wants to uh, go to the previous lecture you can go to the description box to get the link of the previous lecture okay so let's start with question number 8.122 which says that uh, let this uh let a k equal to this then so that this will be that and conversely that will be on the opposite so from that you can write here that uh, in terms of j so this will be j no 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 j k a k equals to z z sorry you can write q j q just multiply this in the both side multiply this in the both side multiply g j q in both side in both side both side matrix tensor side right now you can write this as a g j q a k and this will be changed into delta k q a j so the k and q are equal so you can write g j k a k equals to a j when these two are equal q is equals to k okay so you prove this relation in inversely if you wants to prove then we can multiply j q jq a jq j jk ak so this will be g jq aj now this will be again a delta function that is q k ak and this will be j g jq aj so the, this will be again when q is k this will be ak g jk aj okay here also q is equals to k here multiply g j q in both side g j q in both side both side right next go to the next question that is express this relation uh, c between the associate tensor this will be the relation we need to express in the associate tensor in terms of g right so a p q we need to write into a j dot q this dot denoted the previous position that is p is here and this change into q so this will be p is right here and this change into j so this is the or in the reverse form you can also write a q j as the g uh, sorry this is p q so there will be p j right in b this is a p dot r dot q change into a j there is a dot q l right so here p changes so for p you need to write this j p this p p and j j and for q there is no change and for r there is change so g r is upper so upper and this will be l right clear or in the reverse you can write a j q l dot equals to a p dot r dot q so you can see q is same so it will be j lower side and this p here similarly r l or r l at the same for next c 
a dot dot r p q equals to a dot dot l j k so you can see all things are changes so this p and change to j so this will be p j g q change to k so this will be q k and this r change to l so r l right or in reverse you can write j k dot dot l equals to dot dot r and this is p q so this will be j j p this k q and this will be l r right so this are the representation of the associate tensor clear go to the next question so that this will be equals to that so for question number a a dot q p b p dot r s right so you need to change p and q in the upper so q will be the same only p changes so you can write this will be g p p a p q and for that the p is uh, replaced in lower side so this will be p p and b p r s so you can write g p p and g p p so this are cancel out to each other and this will be a p q b p r s so these two are cancel out you will be get only p q b p r s this will be approved next that is a double dot r p q and b dot r p so this will change into p uh, at the lower side q only does not change so g p p and so you can write q q not change only p change here p dot r right one p r change here and case of b there will be p and r interchanges so this will be p and r both are sorry no 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 only uh, p is upper side so this will be p p b p r next form so again we can write this will be g p p and this will be g p p uh, a dot q p dot r and this is p r so this is again one so a dot q p dot r b p r now if you wants to change again this so next that is a q p dot r b p r so uh, here the art replaced in the upper side so you can write this as a g r r a uh, r in the upper side to dot q r and this will be p dot dot and this b uh, r change in the lower side so g r r b p and this will be dot r p b dot r <coughs> so you can write this as a g r r and this will be g r r a dot q r p dot dot sorry you can also write so p and b p and this is dot r okay this is again one so this is dot q r and this is p and this is p and dot r clear this is actually in the lower side in the upper side that's in this position are the replaced here clear go to the next one hence did you demonstrate the general result that the dummy index this is an important conclusion written here that is demonstrate the general result that the dummy index in terms many lower and upper position raised from the lower position without changing the value and item so we change here you can see here in these two example into these two problem they have if we change the upper and lower index dummy index there is no change in the value right go to the next question 
so that this will be equal to that so we need to just change um, according to this associate tensor formula so here we given a p q r equals to b p dot q c r so if you change into this will be g p p a p q r if we change and if we change into this into g p p you know, b p q this will be c r so g p p r cancel out so you will get a p q r equals to b p q c r which are proved and and then prove this relation so you must change into again g q q and g r r so q and r r change similarly in the right hand side g q q b p here and q here and this is g r r c r here okay so these two are again cancel out you will be get p r dot q r equals to b dot q p and c r clear this will be proved and there is another important conclusion written here uh, demonstrate the result free index in a tensor equation may be raised or uh, affecting variable of the equation so in case of three index there are also be upper and lower there will be no changes in the value okay or equation in case of equation there is no changes this was in case of relation this will be a dummy index there is no change in value or in case of equation there is no change if we change the lower and upper of the uh, free index okay go to the next question says that this show that the tensor these are the associate tensor so we can write g p q equals to g p p g q q into g p q we change into two part so we can write this will be g p p and this to g sorry this will be g this to g comes into delta function that is p q so you can see here you can see here these three are that is this that and that are the associate tensor associated tensor these are the associated tensor clear go to the next question prove that this relation so we can write here for question a that is g j k bar transform at uh, tensor del x j into del x p so this can be written as del x p del x j into del x q del x k into g p q right that into del x j del x p so this two are cancel out you get into g p q right so this two are cancel out you will be get this relation or you can write in the reverse format that is x q and del x q right next for b you can write j k and del x p del x j so this equals to g g p q sorry 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 this can be written as del x p x z del x q del x k bar into del x j right right pq del x k this is will be that so this will be the proof of this question for any query you must comment in the comment box i think there is a mistake i think i think i think i 
I if I mistake here is uh, equal to that. So if we change into into GPQ, okay, okay. Sorry, I mistake here. This will be PQ. So del x j del x p and this is del x k bar del x q so and this is also del x p del x j so these two are cancel out you will be get here del x k and del x q clear uh, now this it's okay Go to the next question. Uh, next question says that uh, let AP is a vector field. So find the corresponding unit vector. So we can write the square of magnitude, magnitude square, magnitude square, square of this magnitude will be nothing but AP and AP. Right? Or you can write this as a pq ap and this will be a q okay so the unit vector will be unit vector will be this value by this uh, root over this magnitude that is ap ap or you can write this ap by root under g p q ap a q clear i think clear go to the next question so that the cosine angle which of the three dimension three dimension unit vector ui makes the corresponding coordinate is given here from the um, previous or in the solution in this book uh, solve problem you can say that ds square equals to g11 dx for for x1 co or d net curve where these two are equals that is x2 are constant and x3 also constant since these two are constant so this will be equal to that so here you can write dx dx this will be 1 dx ds equals to 1 by root under g11 okay so unit tangent vector you can write that is the angle uh, cosine of angle that is the cosine of the angle you can see that is the 1 by root under g 1 or clear in the similar way you can write in the next okay so that's it this is all about me and this is my contact details you can connect with telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get the other videos regarding mechanics and mathematics also share this video to your friends as that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you